would win, Cat Noir or Sundra? This is so tricky, man. I'm probably going to go with Cat Noir. I'm going to go with Cat Noir. It was Cat Noir. Let's go. Luisa or Gru? I'm going to go with Gru. All right, I'm going to like Gru as well. Oh, man. The Squid Game doll or the Minion? I mean, I'm thinking the Minion. It's got to be the Minions, bro. Yeah. If we get this, we're geniuses. It was. We're actually doing great. What is up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Lucky Bob. Yeah. Today, we are playing a who would win game. We have to decide who would win in a battle between Mommy Longlegs and Spider-Man. Oh, man, guys. This is tricky because they're both spiders, so they can both web each other. Oh, I forgot they're both spiders. Mommy Longlegs would be scary. She could grab Spider-Man, but Spider-Man could web her. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and she'd be stuck in a web. I have a feeling that Spider-Man would be able to use his webs to wrap up Mommy Longlegs' legs, and then uh, he could just punch her and oof her. What? <laughs> Yeah. What? <laughs> so I'm gonna lock in that Spider-Man would be able to win. Mommy <laughs> Long Legs if she stuck. <laughs> she win. Right, dude. I would say Mommy Long Legs would win because even though Spider-Man could web her, she has longer reach, so she could grab him first. That's true, and she could probably drive the train in Poppy Playtime and just run him over. Let's see who would win now. This is scientifically proven data. Who would win? Oh, it was Spider-Man. Got it. Okay, now who would win between Angry Bunzo and Angry? Angry Red from from Angry Birds. Oh boy, this is tricky. Now guys, Bunzo from Poppy Playtime is super scary. Even if it's not your birthday, he'll still gonna oof you. But Angry Birds, Angry Red, he could probably like yeet himself with a catapult and, and oof you that way too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. I would say, um, I think Bunzo would win because even if the Angry Bird uh, yeeted himself, Bunzo Bunny could like catch him in his symbols. Oh, that's true. That's true. I, I will go with Bunzo. <laughs> I think Bunzo's gonna win, dude. I'm gonna lock in Angry Red. Okay. It was Bunzo. Yeah. Now who would win, Buzz Lightyear or Wreck It Ralph? Oh boy. Now this is tricky, guys. Now Buzz Lightyear obviously. He has a laser blaster on his arm. He does? Yep, to defeat Emperor Zerg. But Wreck-It Ralph is super strong and he's gonna wreck it. He's gonna wreck it. <laughs> right. But um, Wreck-It Ralph could call him Vanellope and she oh. in her car and just run over Buzz Lightyear. That's true. And I honestly think that Vanellope would be able to take some of the candy that she has in her hair and give it to Buzz as a distraction. Meanwhile, Wreck-It Ralph would sneak up behind him and pull him. Huh? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's what I think would happen. So I think Wreck It Ralph would be able to beat Buzz Lightyear. I didn't do that to me last week. That's true. Yeah, I put like a hot dog on a fishing pole and then I like reeled it in and he was chasing after it and then I walked up and tripped him. He walked up and punched. <laughs> Don't ever do that. <laughs> I would say Lightyear is gonna win because he can fly. Well, what? How do you think he would oof Wreck It Ralph? He would just fly into him. I didn't get to see Lightyear because Adam's mom banned me. From from that movie. Right. But I think Lightyear would win. To infinity and beyond. Yup. It's a draw. It's a tie. Wow. Who would win? Cat Noir or Sundrop? This is so tricky, man. Hmm. Something about both these characters looks a little bit off. Why does Cat Noir look like that? Yeah. Adam, Adam looks like that sometimes. When I eat something really, really, um, no. um, sour. No. What? No. When your mom says, Adam, uh, look nice. I'm gonna take a photo. Uh, <laughs> he makes that face. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. I like this face. <laughs> if you get the plushies, do this. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> now, guys, I'm probably gonna go with Cat Noir. I'm gonna go with Cat Noir because Sandra. He's not angry, he just doesn't like it when there's a mess. Right, right, right. And Cat Noir could probably ask for backup from Miraculous Ladybug if he was in any type of trouble. But then Sundrop could turn into Moondrop and oof Cat Noir. Mm, but I think Miraculous Ladybug's stronger than Moondrop. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna go with Cat Noir also. It was Cat Noir, let's go! Now who would win Dash 
or the Flash. This is impossible, bro, because they're both so fast. Right, guys. This is a really tough battle. Mm. I feel like the Flash would win, though, only because Dash is still, like, um, young, and the Flash is, like, a full adult. That's true. That's true. Man, this is but so tricky. Dash could call in his family for right. backup. Right, exactly. He could call in Jack-Jack the baby and Violet, his sister. No, I do and not have a crush on this. is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say it. He said it himself. Justin always says he these said lies about me. He said it himself. That's a lie. I didn't even bring anything up. You brought her up, dude. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. He get Dash could call it his daddy. Oh, that's true. Mr. Incredible. I think Dash is going to win because he got backup. Yeah, I'm going to lock in Dash as well. It's like Foxy. When she needs backup, she calls in her Foxy friend. That's true. I'm going to go with Dash. It is Dash. Let's go. Who would win? Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's or Knuckles? Wow, guys. This is a tough one. This is a real tough one. Yeah. Mm. Now, yeah. Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Look at her teeth. I mean, I would not want to get bit by that Foxy. No, no. This Foxy is super cute. She's not evil. I think I buy the donuts and <laughs> Right, guys. But this is Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, it's a different Foxy. Knuckles, he's good, though. So he only defeats evil guys. So I would rather be on Knuckles' team. So you think Knuckles will win? Yeah, I would love to hang out with Knuckles and all his friends. It's the same thing as always. Knuckles could call him back up. You got to think outside the box, bro. Like Foxy. Right. You got to think outside the box. What... It's not just their powers. Knuckles could call in Sonic, Tails, Amy, <laughs> all of them. So Knuckles, yup. See, ya. who would win, Granny or Baldy? Oh boy! Wow. Now both these characters are legends, and they're both super evil guys. I feel like Granny would win because she could put the traps on the ground, and then she go. <gasps> <laughs> she hits you. Uh, but Baldi is a really, really tough game. Oh, like, Baldi has a ruler, but Granny has a baseball bat. I think the baseball bat's longer, so she got more range. I'm gonna go with Granny. Yeah, but Baldi could call in some of his friends and, like, make you jump rope or stuff like that. I'm staying with Granny. Mm. Well, Granny can call in Grain Daddy. That's true. Yeah, and she'll feed you cookies. Yup. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and lock in Granny as well. We're on a roll. Let's go. Who would win, Grigory or Bruno? Oh, boy, guys. Now, both these characters are very unique. Gregory obviously gets in a lot of trouble. He loves hanging out in Freddy's belly, but Bruno, we just never ever try to talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. No, 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 no. I would say <laughs> Bruno, because again, it's back up. First off, Gregory, you little baby. <laughs> All right. Freddy, where are you, Freddy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think Gregory, he'd be able to call him Freddy. But Bruno could call in Luisa, Mirabelle, you know what I mean? Everybody. That's true, guys. That's so true. And Bruno could see the future. So. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's lock in Bruno. Bruno. Dude, we're doing so good. Let's go. Now, who would win? Karate SpongeBob. Wow. Or Sonic that EX. Now, this is tricky, guys. Um, I know Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob loves karate, and she probably taught SpongeBob how to do karate. So she's probably pretty good, but Sonic.exe is so evil. Foxy learned karate from Sandy Cheeks. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I said, I know karate. Can you show me a movie now? Hey, yeah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, just kidding. Foxy would never hurt anybody. Yeah, that didn't hurt. I would say Sonic.exe would still win, though. He's Sonic.exe. He's so evil. Mm. <laughs> that's true, guys. Sonic.exe. I had a nightmare last night about Sonic.exe. Really? You want to talk about it, or is it still too, like, sensitive? I was getting chased by Sonic.exe, and I was saying, Adam, help! Help! But he was too busy hanging with Amy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Damn it! Thank you for being so vulnerable on camera and you saying that. You left me to oof. I was busy. You are busy being a little date with Amy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sonic.exe, he's scary. I'm actually gonna go with Karate Spongebob. Okay. Yup, oh yup, Sonic.exe. Who would win, Luisa or Gru? Oh boy, this uh, is so tough, guys. I count money. Now let's say neither of them can call in backup from anyone. It's just 1v1. It's, oh, it's 1v1? So Luisa can't call in Mirabelle and Gru can't call okay, in the minions. Then Luisa wins easy, but if they can call in backup, Gru's gonna call in the minions. Ah, if it's just them, if it's just them, I honestly think 
that Gru would be able to take off his scarf and, and tie it around Luisa's legs and trip her. Then he, then when she's on the ground, he could just. <laughs> 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 the answer all your is punch him too. <laughs> That's how Adam fights, by the way. <laughs> Are you dancing or fighting? I'm doing balls. I, when I get tied up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I'm saying it's gotta be. Wait, does Gru have abilities? Um, he's really evil. That's it. And he sometimes has like um, evil, evil guy like um, contraptions and stuff that he makes. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Gru, cause he gonna pull up with the minions. I'm gonna go with Gru. All right, I'm gonna lock in Gru as well. Oh man! We should have listened to Adam to the one v one scenario. Okay, who will win, Marshall from Paw Patrol or Scooby Doo? This is not even close, Marshall. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> What's Scooby gonna do? He can't even call. Who's he gonna call it? Velma, Daphne. That's true. Yeah, maybe Shaggy. Maybe Fred. Oh, not Fred. Bro, Marshall gonna call in everybody. Sky, you know what I mean? Rubble. <laughs> now Rubble in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> now Marshall has on like a super suit. He looks really good, but. Here's how I think it would go down, because they're both dogs. They both probably love eating Scooby snacks. So I think Scooby would take some Scooby snacks and pour them on the ground. Marshall would be distracted and try to eat them. That's when Scooby would sneak up behind him and bite him. And punch him in the <laughs> I'm gonna go with Marshall. You're wrong. I'm locking in Scooby Doo. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Wait, Nemo from Finding Nemo or Patrick Star. Man, this is tricky. Now, Nemo, he doesn't really have any attacks. He's just a little baby clownfish. Right, that's true. And they honestly hang out in sea anemones because it like protects them for some reason. Okay. So that that's really tricky. That's really I tricky. I didn't know you were a marine biologist. I'm not. I just watched Finding Nemo a bunch. I honestly think that Patrick would be able to pick up his rock house and throw it at Nemo and crush him. Oh, <laughs> crush Nemo? Turn him to like some, some squish sushi or Day, something. Day, you will never find him. I bet his dad would get crushed too. Yeah. Marlin! Yeah, not Marlin! Nah, I, do you think but Patrick Star, he's just lazy. He'd be, That's he'd true. be chilling. But how would Nemo win? How would Nemo oof him? I don't think it's possible. I think you're right. Patrick has to win this one. He'd call it Squidward. Mmm, right. Squidward played the clarinet. <laughs> and dabs. <laughs> Damn it, Squidward. I'm gonna lock in Patrick. Yep. It was. We're actually doing great. Oh, man. Who would win? Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Wow. Or maybe. Now, they're both pandas. They're both super lit. We love both these movies, guys. Kung Fu Panda and Turning Red. I don't even want to pick a winner. I'm tempted to say a draw. I mean, it's got to be Poe, right? He knows how to fight. Although, Mei Li is super fast and super strong. And Mei Li might call in Four Town. I was thinking she might turn on Four Town on a boombox or like on some speakers. Poe might start dancing. You never know by my side. My side. Bang! That's what... <laughs> Punch him to oof. Exactly. That's when she would sneak in and punch him in the face. I think it's gotta be Poe, man. I'm gonna lock in a draw. I love both these characters. I'm gonna go with Poe. It was Poe. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win the Squid Game doll or the Minions? Now, guys, this is the final max level round. Play along. Now, this is tricky because the Squid Game doll, as long as you don't move, she won't oof you. Dude. I, all these games are scientifically, cybernetically mm -hmm. proven yep. to be real. I think it's gotta be the minions, cause basically the minions, there's like hundreds of them, they would run and even if half of them get oofed by red light, green light, mm. some of them would make it to the end. You know what I mean? That's so true, guys. Money. That's so true. And in the squid game, everyone wants money. Yeah. Right, right, right. And then they would call him Gru. And then he would shut down the Squid Game doll. That's true, guys. Gru would definitely do that. So, I mean, I'm thinking the minions It's gotta win. be the minions, bro. Yeah. If we get this, we're geniuses. It was! Let's go! All right, guys. 
make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out Lanky Box Shop and make sure to go get Lanky Box merch in stores. Walmart, Target, go buy some. This is lit, man. This game was so much fun. Let us know if you guys got who would win. We're gonna go get some onion rings. <laughs>